Hey, what's up, Gemini? Welcome to my channel. This is Brother John Terry. We're here to do your March 13th through the 18th messages. All right, so Mars is in Gemini and it'll it'll be in Gemini, Gemini till March 25th. But Mars in Gemini says, it's essential to learn how to sort through your thoughts rather than fall victim to an excess of thinking. So I feel like if you sort through your thoughts, then, or if you, if you just come to, if you just rationalize things or just think things through or actually, I guess maybe the past situations you've been in, I feel like if you just um, come up with a solution, you won't keep thinking excessively about a topic or something like that. Or also this could be talking about being truthful too, or just being honest and not leaving things out, you know? So, let's see. We're gonna get your overall energy here. All right, give me messages for Gemini from March 13th to the 18th. Give me some messages for Gemini. March 18th. March 13th through the 18th. Okay, give me some messages for Gemini. And right, we have the King of the Knight of Cups. So an apology or somebody wanting to express something. This could be a water sign energy here, or this could just be uh, you or someone embodying the energy of apologizing or something like that. Look at that, the Three of Cups. Wow, or somebody is offering somebody something. The Three of Cups, the Star card. No, this talks about healing. The Hermit, the Ace of Cups. So it looks like you've gone within and thought about something and you want to... Uh, start over something brand new or rekindle something or work something out. Uh, also, you want to have fun with someone. Uh, the night nights are flighty energy, but it's also like, I always say, <laughs> they just gonna be there for one night only. But this could be like a quick hookup or like something like a, uh, some kind of fun connection that you wanna have. So maybe you wanna have sex with somebody or something like that. or or maybe you want to build something with someone or something like that. Um, the Three of Swords, wow, you're heartbroken. Heartbroken or disappointed about something not working out with two people or something like that, or something not working out here. The Wheel of Fortune. So I feel like this is, this. well, this is a faded event. This was meant to happen or occur this way Whatever this is, it's a lesson because it's two threes back to back. So I feel like this is also mirroring energy. So you could be dealing with a twin flame here because I know twin flames mirror the same ener energy, but it's like opposite energy. So this is like uh, a lesson in a sense or something like that. So I just feel like um, this also can't be slowed down. But I, I also feel like if you do want to apologize, now is the time to apologize. So this, I mean, it's only going to get worse or the cycle is is up to for forgiveness or something like that four of wands ah this is your twin flame four of wands is a twin flame card or soulmate type energy uh justice wow so this could be talking about as a situation being balanced out or something like that. Something being balanced out in a household as well too. Uh, so let's see, let's let's tap in some more. Let's see the three of the, uh, let's see what's, what's behind this Ace of Cups. Yeah, the Tower card. So I feel like it was something, it was an abrupt, something happened. And uh, I feel like it was a failed, it was a failed attempt. something happened while having fun or something was just supposed to be fun, but it ended up being serious and somebody ended up getting hurt or something like that. Uh, let's see. Give me Gemini's current energy. 
Let me Gemini's current energy. The Ten of Pentacles, yeah. This talks about being happy or something like that, or also working with a group or something like that. Something involving people or a business or a situation uh, involving, a, like this is like an organization. These people don't necessarily have to be family, but they're definitely conducting business. Um, so you see this person with their back turned. So somebody is in, somebody doesn't know, uh, somebody doesn't see something or something like that, or doesn't know something because their back is turned. But this person could also be a false person. So this could be, but these two people know each other, but I just feel like maybe this person doesn't know who that person is or something like that, or doesn't know them like that. But I just feel like somebody here knows the other person. So this is also giving me the energy of twin flame energy. This is like light, light and dark type energy. If we were to say the light person is facing, is having their face shown and then the dark person is in the dark. You can't see their face. So, um, so something to do with money. Uh, wow, the world card came out. The world card is Capricorn energy, I believe. But it talks about a cycle being closed or, or even being locked in a cycle as well, too. Or something being continuous. Um, also, this talks about growing things or um, fertility, whether it be a baby or um an idea a birth of, of something like an idea or a business or something like that um but nevertheless it's it's an ending this represents something that's coming to an end or has come to an end but the beginning of something brand new so i just feel like uh, the world is at at your feet or something like that or uh it anything anything goes or something like that right now like Something, something has ended. Maybe this, uh, the nine of wands. Yeah, some, something has ended. Somebody's, uh, defensive here. Technically, these are two Capricorn cards. So, I mean, we're Earth energy. So Virgo, Taurus, Capricorn. But I just feel like something has come to an end. And now somebody, or somebody is defending a new, their new start or something like that, or, um, wow, the King of Swords, that's your energy, or Aries or Libra. So something to do with doing things the right way, but also this is like someone defending themselves or speaking up or something like that, or uh, this talks about tradition and, and doing things the way they buy the rule book or something like that. So, um, but this also talks about communication as well too, and knowing how to cut things off. So, or maybe something has been cut off here, or maybe you cut something off. All right, what else is here for Gemini? The Ace of Wands. Some kind of work is is done. Something that was put out. Uh, I feel like somebody started something single-handedly and got other people involved in something, possibly with these with this Ten of Pentacles here, or something to do with some money uh, and planting something or starting something brand new. Or maybe you need to move or something like that. Or maybe this talks about a new beginning or a new area. Maybe you need to move to a, a new area. Maybe the business is not going good in the area you are and it's time to move around or something like that or just time to move around in general. Look, the higher font in reverse. Well, it's concerned energy. So it's in reverse. So this just talks about breaking the law or breaking um breaking a contract or breaking the rules or something like that. Uh, so I feel like this is something that you can't get out of or something like that. So maybe because somebody broke the law, now it's like they, they've started maybe probation or something. Maybe that's something new or maybe they have to report now or something like that. Or uh, 
but I feel like whatever this is, they started. So they have to, uh-oh, let me go get my dog. Sorry about that. I had to go get my dog. Uh, he got he got out. Got to have two dogs. It's a cane corso, so he's vicious and big and intimidating. He was barking at somebody that was running. I was like, "Oh no!" Um, so maybe that could be significant here. Um, something about your dog, or I don't know, something like that. <laughs> But whatever this is, the higher fun is in reverse is because somebody broke the law or broke some rules or something like that. Uh, or broke a contract of some sort. Let me shuffle these. So, what else is here for Gemini? The Two of Wands. So, wow, you got the Ace of Wands and the Two of Wands. So, yeah, I feel like somebody's trying to leave town or uh, looking for someone or looking for something or something like that. Or going within and realizing they did something wrong or something like that or... Um, because the two of wands could be going within as well, too. Looking at something a little bit closer or something like that. Looking at the details of something. Uh, maybe that's why you want to apologize. If somebody wants to apologize for something, possibly. Or confess something. The chariot card. Wow, this is cancer energy. So I feel like with the chariot and the hierophant here, this gives me the energy of the police. So this is, uh... Something, something to do with the police is here. Um, and traveling, having to do with traveling. So the police could be looking for someone where they stay or something like that. And the Nita deck, you have the fool, wow. Aries energy. We have uh, eight, the Eight of Cups, the Nine of Cups, and then the Lover's card. That's your energy. And the Three of Wands. So I feel like whatever somebody wished or whatever somebody did made somebody walk away. Or they something something here was a, was, uh, a, a huge risk of something. Uh, let's see. On top of the deck is the Magician. Wow. That's my Gemini Aries card. Look, then the Knight of Cups again. So yeah, I felt like somebody wanted to, or maybe you wanted to manifest an apology or something like that, or some sort of uh, reconciliation or something, or now you want to, look at that, the Five of Pentacles. Yeah, somebody's been left out, uh, leaving somebody out, or you wanna apologize for leaving somebody out of something, or putting somebody out, or somebody has put you out, or something like that, or. Maybe this is what you want to tell someone. You you got to go or I got to go. The Six of Pentacles. Yeah, I got to... This this is like an equal give and take. So, or maybe someone wants an equal give and take and they're not, that's what they're not getting or something like that. Or maybe when somebody leaves someone, they get they receive an equal give and take or something like that or something, an even exchange.